Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to download the Windows 11 ISO. So let's say you don't want to install Windows 11 through the Windows Insider program you can get a Windows 11 ISO. But the only problem is that Microsoft doesn't provide an official ISO on their website. So we're gonna have to use a third party website, which will download all the packages from the Windows Update servers. And then on using their script, we will be able to create our own Windows 11 ISO. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All you have to do is to go to uupdump.net. This is a website that can download UUP files from Windows Update servers. It's a really simple to use website. I'm gonna show you how to use it in this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to TechBased because a lot more videos will come about how to make a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 if you don't know that, how to install Windows 11, the whole process, and so on and so forth. But now let me show you how to download the Windows 11 ISO. On the main page of uupdump.net, just go down a bit to recently added builds, and here you will have two versions. As you can see, we have here the latest build, 22K.65, we have the ARM64 and the AMD64. The ARM64 is for mobile and AMD64 is for PC. So just go and click on this AMD64. Don't worry, it's um, working on both AMD and Intel, so you can install it if you want. After you clicked on this version, you have to choose your language. I'm gonna leave it as English, United States. Just click on next. And here you can choose your Windows 11 edition. I recommend you only Windows Pro because if you have all the editions selected, the process of downloading and also creating the ISO will be much more longer. So I'm just gonna go with Windows Pro. You can do whatever you want, but I'm showing this in this video because it will take a lot less time. So just click on next. Now what you have to do, as the download method, make sure you select the second one. It's already selected, so you shouldn't do anything else. Download and convert to ISO. And on conversion options, you can leave include updates because this will include all the Windows updates that are already on this build. But as you can see here, additional updates will be integrated during, during the conversion process, significantly increasing the creation time. So for this video's purpose, I'm just gonna go and uncheck this. You can do this yourself. You can include updates. You can do whatever you want, as I said. So now we're just gonna go and click on create download package, which will download for us an archive. As you can see, we can save the file. So after the download is finished, as I've said, we will have a archive on our desktop or wherever we saved it. We can extract it using 7-zip uh, or WinRAR and we will get this folder in which we will have a script that will allow us to download the Windows 11 packages from the official Windows update servers and then on we'll convert all those packages into an ISO. All we have to do is to double click on EUP download Windows, this script, double click on it and when user account control pops up, just click on yes. And as you can see here, this script will start running. First off, you'll have a CMD that will download all the necessary files. And later on, PowerShell will, will open up and the process of converting those packages to ISO will start. And the process should take up to 30 minutes depending on your internet speed for the download part and your computer for the conversion part. So I'm just gonna go and fast forward to the finished process and we will see that the ISO will be created somewhere in this folder. And after the process is finished, you will get this message done, press zero to exit. We can press zero or exit out from there with no issues. And now we have the ISO here, as you can see. The ISO as I've created it has around four gigs, but if you create it with updates and with other features from the uupdump.net website, the image will be bigger. But this is the whole process. Later on, we can use this image to create a bootable USB drive and install 
on external devices windows 11. don't forget that eupdump.net is in the description down below you can go and check out the website from there and if this video was useful don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the techbase channel for more videos about windows 11 coming soon i was emmanuel from techbase until next time have a nice day